So, after hearing about this, I just knew that I had to talk about it in some way. And it would appear that there is strong reason to suggest that a Dark Souls 1 remaster is on the horizon. Now, why do we think this? Well, and I'm just quoting directly from a news article here. According to a tweet from Marcus Sellers, an editor and writer for Nintendo Switch Network, news that the game would be remastered is supposedly going to be revealed during a huge event that Bandai Namco is holding on December 15th. Sellers pinned a tweet saying that five unannounced games will be shown off during the event, and that Nintendo would be featured prominently. However, the news about the Dark Souls remaster came in the form of a reply from Sellers to his pinned tweet, where he confirmed that one of those games would be a remaster of Dark Souls. The tweet was deleted, but the removed tweet was screenshotted before it could be taken down. So what does this mean? What can we take from it? Well, it could very well be true, and we can look forward to a Dark Souls 1 remaster coming sometime soon. It's certainly plausible, we've already heard news that From Software backs the Switch, and there are stories about them having Dark Souls 3 running on the thing, which is amazing in more than one way, that's for sure. On the flip side, this is indeed still just a rumour, even if it's backed up by screenshots. Uh, they were deleted, and that could be for various reasons. It could have been that it was simply not true, or indeed that it was supposed to be kept under wraps. Now, I don't want this video to simply be about telling you guys about a Dark Souls 1 remaster, especially when it brings up quite an interesting talking point. In 2017, is simply a remaster enough? Now, right, let's be clear, I'm really fucking excited over the concept of a remaster. It's going to bring Dark Souls to a much wider audience, yet again, but what does a remaster really mean? For 99% of games, a remaster simply means upscaling the game to 1080p, 60fps, and it comes with the DLC. For a 6 year old game, I don't see that being enough, especially when we've all played it to death at this point. Now, interestingly, I think the fact that it's apparently coming to the Switch gives me high hopes that the game will actually contain some form of new content. A lot of Nintendo variations of multi-plat third party titles always seem to come with some unnecessary sprinkling of Zelda or Mario items, so this is probably a likely thing to happen for Dark Souls as well. And they weren't shy about changing a lot of stuff for Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin, which realistically didn't even need to be made. So with all this in mind, it is possible that we could be looking at a very different Dark Souls 1, and this really has me licking my lips at the prospect, which is why I'm going to give my top 5 changes that really need to be made to Dark Souls if they're going to be doing anything to the game, especially if they want to bring Dark Souls 1, at least in some respects, up to the standards of the new games and indeed 2018. So number one, and that is to fix Lost Isleth. If anything needs to be done to the game, it's this, as it really does bring the overall quality down, quite sharply, actually. Out of all the changes they could make to the game, this would probably be the easiest thing they could do, and is definitely in line with the things that they've done for Scholar, so it's also quite plausible. Number two, give resistance an actual fucking use. In a perfect world, they would split carry weight and stamina, but I really don't see that happening. This is possibly something they might do. Frankly, this facet of the game is so poorly done and underused, it's almost straight up broken. Uh, so give resistance some poise or an HP boost or a substantial status effect resistance boost, or just fucking something, seriously. I don't even know how resistance made it to the final game in the state that it was left in. So number three, and this is perhaps the most important thing that they need to do for this generation actually, is to fix the netcode. The Happy Meal netcode from Classic Dark Souls 1 simply won't fly any longer. You could deal with it back in the day as that's all you had to go on, but I don't see the PvP of the game surviving for very long with the same backstab meta that existed from back in the day. I might be wrong about that one, but at the same time, I can't imagine anyone not wanting to see a much better netcode. And another change they could do, and this is just a small one, and this is probably by far the easiest thing they could do, is to just not throw us straight into New Game Plus once we've defeated Win. It's pretty self-explanatory, as I said, it's a small point, very easily done, but it's definitely something that I would highly appreciate. And finally, updating the UI to fall more in line with Dark Souls 2 or 3 would be really, really welcome. Along with allowing us to offer more than one Covenant item at a time would be another very achievable change that they could make to the game, that they could have already patched in, that would have taken five fucking minutes, and somehow now is the only time they've gotten around to do it, potentially. For some people, returning to Dark Souls 1 could be a bit of a painful transition, especially if they're used to more recent Souls games. User interface improvements, quality of life improvements, updated graphics could mean that a simple barebones remaster might not appeal to as many new players as it potentially could. 
It's also hard to argue that these features have aged particularly well in Dark Souls 1. And that brings me to the end of this video. Now I hope you enjoyed this video, it's just a little aside thing. Obviously it's much smaller than the usual things that I put out, but it's just something that I wanted to talk about because it is a bit of an interesting thing. I mean realistically, is just a simple remaster of Dark Souls 1 really even enough when we can just play it on PC which is considerably better than any bare bones remaster that they might put out? But yeah, I'm just going to you know give a thanks to all the patrons on Patreon as I always do, but you know it's just a smaller low key video so I just going to want to wrap things up quickly. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video which should be coming soon, um, no big waits like over the months, but yeah, see you guys soon.